Good day, my viewers. Welcome back to Alifati Teachers. Today is our mathematics class and the continuation of our number basis, majorly division of number basis. Today, I want to look at division of number basis. The first one in binary. When we're talking about binary, we're talking about base 2. How to divide in base 2? Example 1. Perform the following operations in binary. Oh, my figure 1. Now, I'm going to be doing this in using two methods. And we're going to look at the, which of the methods is the most easiest or mo most comfortable for me to use or for you to use. Now, let's look at this. We have now to get this division done, we can do it in using two methods. So the first method now, method one. For the method one, eleven here, one zero one zero one. Whenever this eleven can, if eleven can go in any of this number, it will only it will be one. Even if it is two or three times, we are not concerned because in base two, we can only have two figures, one and zero. So if 11 cannot go there, it should be zero. Now, 11 goes in one is impossible. I can write zero because we are just starting. It doesn't need for us to write zero. But when you get to the middle, we can write it. Journey with this one making 10. 11 goes in 10 is impossible. Journey with this one making 101. 11 goes in 101. It can go. We say it is one. Even though it is more than one, we only write one because we are working in base two. Base two, the answer we can get can either be one or zero. Now, 11 times 1, we have 11. We subtract. 1 minus 1, 0. 0 minus 1 is impossible. Borrow 1 from here. The one we borrow from here becomes our base, which is 2. So, 2 plus this 0, we have 2. 2 minus 1, we have 1. Then take your 0 down. That is 100. 11 can also go in 100. It's 1. 1 times 11, we have 11. You subtract again. 0 minus 1 is impossible. Come and go up from here. When you go up from here, this one becomes 0. Put the 1 here. It becomes like your base 2. Go on again. This one becomes 1. Put it here, making 2. 2 minus 1, we have 1. 1 minus 1, we have 0. Then take your 1 down. Now, 11 goes in 11. We have 1. 11 times 1, we have 11. Subtract it, we have 0. So, which means that... This, our final answer, is going to give us 1, 1, 1, base 2. That's for the method 1. The method 2. Method 2. The method 2 is to convert, to change this into base 10. To change this into base 10. And then we will not change them back to base 2. Meaning, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, base 2. We label 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 1 times 2 raised to the power 4 plus 0 times 2 raised to the power 3 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to the power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 0. So this one gives 1 times 2 in 4 places. We have 16 plus 0 times 8 plus 1 times 4 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1, so it's power 0 is 1. So here now we have, this times we have 16, plus 0, plus 4, plus 0, plus 1. So 16 plus 4 is 20, 20 plus 1, we have 21, base 10. Now, we now change 1, 1, base 2 to base 10 as well. So we have 1, 1, base 2, 0 and 1. So we have 1 times 2, which power 1, plus 1 times 2, which power 0. So we have 1 times 2 plus 1 times 1. So we have 2 plus 1, which gives us what? 3 base 10. So since we, have, we are able to convert both of them to 3 base, to base 10, then we divide both of them together by saying 21 base 10, 21 over 3, all in base 10. 3 goes in 3, 1, 3 here, 7. So we have 7 base 10. So we can now convert our base 10 back to base 2. So we have this our 7 into 
two goes in seven, we have three, remainder one, two again, two goes in three, one, remainder one, two again, two goes in one, zero, remainder one. We write from bottom up, so our final answer is one, 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 in base two. So this is the second method. What about you got two? Let's call it method one. For the moment, we got two. Method one, yes, method one. Before considering the method two. Now, the division, the long division, we have one, zero, one. Then we now have one, zero, one, one, zero, one, one. In base two, don't forget. Now, one, zero, one cannot go in one. Join it and make it ten. It cannot go in ten. Just make it one, zero, one. When you join it here. So one, zero, one goes in one, zero, we have. We have one, then one multiplied by one zero one, we have one zero one. When we subtract one minus one, we have zero. Everything will give us zero. Then you take this one, you take it down. Take it down. So we have one. One zero one cannot go in one. That is zero. Zero times one zero one. Zero times one zero one, we have zero. You subtract. 1 minus 0, 1. Take your 0 down. We have 10. 1, 0, 1 goes in 10. It's impossible 0. 0 times 1, 0, 1. We have 0. So 0 minus 0, 0. 1 down. Then take your 1 down. We have 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1 goes in 1, 0, 1. We have 1. 1 times 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. Subtract. 1 minus 1, we have 0. Everything gives us 0. Then take your 1 down. Are we there? One down. So one zero one goes in one. That is what? Zero. Then zero times one zero one. We have zero. So when you take away one minus zero, one minus zero will give us one. So which means that we, we have a remainder of one. So our final answer here is one zero zero one zero base two remainder one. So that's our method one. Now let us now try the method two. Method two, we need to, we need to convert everything into base 10. One, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, base two. Now we have to label zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one times two raised power six, plus zero times two raised power five, plus one, times 2 raised to the power 4, plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 3, plus 0 times 2 raised to the power 2, plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 1, plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 0. So we have 1 times 2 raised to the power 6 means 2 in 6 places. We have 1 times 2 in 6 places, we have 64, plus 0 times 2 in 5 places, 2 times 2 in 5 places, we have 32, plus 1 times in 4 places we have 16, plus 1 times in 3 places we have 8, plus 0 times 4, plus 1 times 2, plus 1 times 1. So we now have 64 plus 0, plus 16, plus 8, plus 0, plus 2, and plus 1. So when we, 64 plus 16, we are going to have 80, 88, 90, and 91. That's 91 base 10. Now, the next thing is to change 101 base 2 into base 10. So, 101 base 2 to base 10. And let us label this. We have 0, 1, 2. So, we have 1 times 2 raised to the power 2, plus 0 times 2 raised to the power 1, plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 0. So, we have 1 times 2 raised to the power 2 is 4, plus 0 times 2, plus 1 times 1. So we have 1 times 4, 4 plus 0 plus 1, equals to 5 base 10. Don't forget the next step is to divide it. 91 divided by 5, all in base 10. So 5 here 1, 5 in 9, we have 1. Remainder 4, 5 in, put in 4 here, making 41. 5 in 41, we have 8. Remember that 1. So 1 over 5 base 10. So in this case now, we are going to convert this base 10 to base 2. So we now have it this way. 18, 2. 2 goes in 18, we have 9. 
We made that zero. Two again. Two goes in nine. We have four. We made that one. Two. Two goes in four. Two. We made that zero. Two. Two goes in two. One. We made that zero. Two. Two goes in one. Zero. We made that one. So we move from bottom up. So our answer becomes one zero zero one zero base two remainder one. So this is how to undergo the division of number bases in binary number. So we then move on to how to divide other other bases like base two, like base three, base four, and other bases. We are going to look at this in our subsequent class. Try to subscribe to the channel. That will get the next content. Thank you.